Okay, uh, let's look at the homework 3.7, problem number 5. So we have a, a right circular cylinder is inscribed in a cone with height h and base uh, radius r. Find the largest possible volume of such a cylinder. All right, so let's do that. All right, so I already drew a picture. So you have uh, a cone and uh, cylinder is inscribed in there. All right, so let's try to find the equation of this line right here. So, oops, uh, this guy right here, All right? So this is just a straight line. So it's a y equals, right? Slope is actually quite easy to find because uh, rise would be, uh, it actually goes down from h to 0. So it's negative h. And a run would be r. So h over rx. And of course, y intercept is h, so plus h. So we have that. So that that's the uh, the equation of this line, right? Then let's say I'm gonna just call um, this point right here uh, x, right? So x is the radius of the um, cylinder, right? So if you want to find the volume v. Uh, in terms of x would be, right, it's going to be pi r squared, but in this case the radius is x, so pi radius squared, and the height would be determined by this line, so this is the height, so we can probably put it as, actually I'm going to write h first, h minus uh, h over r x. Right. Uh, since uh, these are uh, h's in common, I'll pull pull it out. So you have uh, pi h. Then you have x squared. And then you have a one minus x over r. All right. So this is the volume function, and the x can go from zero to r. So let's say so on. I guess we can go from uh, 0 to R. All right, so let's find a critical number. All right, so take the derivative of V. All right, so pi and H are just constant, so I'll just leave those guys outside. All right, then uh, we can just use the uh, uh, product rule. So this is our first guy. This is our second guy. So derivative of the first guy is 2x times the second, uh, which is just the 1 minus x squared over r, or actually just the x over r, plus x squared times, derivative of that is uh, negative 1 over r. All right, so let's uh, clean this up a little bit. Uh, you will get this. So you have a pi h, and a 2x times 1 is 2x, and a 2x my, uh, times negative x over r will be negative 2x squared over r, and here it minus uh, x squared over r, so it's actually there's another one. So I'm going to go ahead and change this 2 to 3 because you have one more. And we set this guy. Actually, I can actually uh, factor out x. So pi h x. And you have a 2 minus 3x over r is equal to 0. Right? So critical numbers are. Um, so first one is... Uh, x equals 0 is the easy one. All right, so we have to set that equal to 0. So what's that? Uh, so you have 2 minus 3x over r equal to 0. All right, then you can, uh, let's see, uh, subtract 2. So it's negative 3x over r is equal to negative 2. All right, then you can simply multiply by reciprocal of negative 3 over r, so it's a negative r over 3, 
and then you get uh, x is isolated so it's a negative negative cancel out so 2r over 3 All right then uh, we since this is a critical number at 0 and uh, uh, 2r over 3 and uh, we have r so we can just compute v of uh, 0 and v of uh, 2r over 3 and v of r all right first one and the last one is easy if you plug in 0 of course the volume is going to be 0 if you plug in r and you can see that the 1 minus r over r is 0 so it's 0 again right for this guy if you plug it in so you have a pi uh, h right, x squared so that's going to be 4r squared over 9 and then you have a 1 minus right you put the 2r over 3 divided by r so we can cancel those out so you're going to have uh, this is just a one third so this is one third so which is going to give us uh, there's a 4 pi over 3 times 9 is 27 and then you have uh, r squared h all right so you can see obviously this is going to be the maximum because that's the only one that gives you the positive value all right let's type it in all right so this was a 4 over 27 then uh you have a pi so greek letter uh, woo -woo -woo. and greek letter pi pi and uh, r squared and uh, h All right let's go submit to testing All right uh, i came back and looks like we got this one correctly All right that's it i hope that uh, this was clear